Hello everybody. So this is my mail and make class for March. I know a lot of you have gotten your um, make and take packets already. This is kind of what's included in that. Let me just try to get my comments up. I am going to be using the So Sentimental stamp set um, for my projects, but the nice thing about these projects is you can actually kind of use any any stamp sets, um, anything that has a... Oh, I'm just trying to get my comments up here. Um, anything that has a sentiment in it. Um, this is going to work with a lot of different ones. Even actually I've discovered the paper pumpkin stamp sets. Um, oh, which ones were they? Anyways, if that's what you've got, that will work. I'm just a few minutes early, so I'm going to try to get my comments up. Aha, there we go. I don't know why this is so difficult for me every single time um, to get those comments up. But, um, yeah, so I've got three different cards I'm going to make. I'm going to be using the So Sentimental stamp set, and I wanted to show you something else with that as well. Um, and then the other things I've got is I've got my liquid glue in my lovely little beer festival glass. Um, hi, Crystal. Oh, from Arkansas. That's awesome. So exciting. Um, and Glenna. Glenna is near Vancouver. I know that because I love her. Um, and then I've got my bone folder, my scissors, some clear blocks, um, some glue dots, and some dimensionals as well. So we're going to work through these, and I'm going to make all three of those. Um, now some of you are probably going, okay, that's great, you have all these make and take packets, how do I get them? So make and take packets. Um, I'm doing this kind of a new way. So those supplies that I'm showing today, you can get those in uh, basically two different ways. One of them is if you're on my team and you're one of my achievers, you'll get them sent to you automatically. My team members can also buy them. Um, and then for the rest of you, hi Jan. Um, for the rest of you, if you're not on my team, you will get them if you place an order with me. Oh, can other people hear me or is it just Glenna? It could very well be that I've got you on mute. I can't tell. Maybe somebody else can pipe up. Hi, Maria. Yeah, you're in Texas and Marguerite is in the Netherlands, so that's exciting. Um, anyways, the uh, make and take packets, if you're not on my team, hopefully you can hear me. Hi Gwen! Um, you can get those when you participate in one of my classes, and of course all my classes are done via the net right now. Um, ooh, we just watched the net the other day. I'd never actually seen it, but it's a good movie. I enjoyed it. Um, anyways, it's all being done via Facebook Lives and Zoom right now. And uh, you can also get it if you just place an order. So you don't have to participate in a class even if you just place an order um, on my website, thecraftymedic.com. I used to have a little thing that I put up. Why don't I put that up again? Thecraftymedic.com. I think you can see that. There you go. Um, then there's a little uh, host code there. And I'm going to stop fidgeting and just make some cards. All right. Oh, I wanted to show you something first. Had a few people ask me this lately, so I thought I would revisit in a video. How do you mark mount up the new cling stamp sets? Um, let me just see. Okay. Um, new cling stamp sets. So they're very similar to the old clear mount stamp sets, how you mount them up. There's kind of two pieces. Wow, I've got glue dots everywhere today. How can you tell I was crafting earlier? Just pulled a glue dot off my thumb. They've got the foam and the rubber, and then they've got the sticker. And the sticker is what's different for cling mount versus the old clear mount. Um, 
I've got my audio on my computer on mute. Hmm. Hi, Holly. I don't know if anybody else can hear me. Okay, Holly's here. That's great. Can you hear me, Holly? Or is my audio mucked up? Okay, perfect. All right, so sorry, Gleta. <laughs> it's your fault. Your, or not your fault, but it's on your end. It's not on my end. That's good. Phew. Okay. I was worried there that I had just been talking to myself. I don't even have a teddy bear or anything like that that I'm talking to. Okay. So what you missed there, I took the paper off the back of the foam. Now this foam will stick to a clear block on its own. It'll stick fairly well, but it will stick a lot better if you put this sticker on it. And I've just taken the, the paper off the sticker label. Now you can only do this once. So it's a little bit high pressure, but if you take just the part off that's covering the actual label, you can actually line that up and then it'll line up and you can peel it off and you have your label on the back of your stamp. Now these stick really well. So if you're used to the old cling mount that, or sorry, the old clear mount that didn't stick very well at all, this is a revelation. Um, these stick crazy good. Like I can actually stick this to my finger and fling it and it doesn't come off. So there we go. That's cling mount stamps. I wanted to, I know a few people have had issues with that recently. Okay, on to our cards. I've got dog hair everywhere. Man, oh man. Okay, first card we're gonna make is going to be using this Whisper White card base and the bits and pieces that go with that. Now, if you got the make and take packets, you did not get this ribbon. You got the dotted tulle ribbon that um, I sent out in the make and take packets for the most part. I ran out of that ribbon when it came to prepping my own supplies, so I'm using the flax ribbon here. Um, don't let that confuse you. The original instructions I had used the dotted tulle ribbon, so that's why that was the original. Okay ink pad. We're using Blackberry Bliss for this. I'm going to ink it up. Oh, I pushed way too hard on that. Oops. We're going to stamp our little die cut piece. Put this aside before I get my elbows in it. And then the other thing we're going to do is we're going to take this designer series paper piece and we're going to cut a flag in the bottom. Now you can do this with scissors terrible at doing it with scissors. You can do it with square punches, different tag punches, but I like my triple banner punch. It's the easy way. I have no qualms about taking the easy way for my crafting shortcuts. This just makes life so much easier. Two inch wide strip of designer series paper, punch it, and you get that done. Unless you're me in my <clears throat> recent technique class where I totally hosed that up and it took me about five minutes to figure out what I was doing wrong and finally I realized I was holding the punch wrong. So yes, stuff makes mistakes and forgets how to do things. Hi Sue! All right, we're gonna glue this onto our card base. Don't forget to use that bone folder like I just did to burnish your card. That's gonna help it stand up and it also means that when you're working on it, nice and flat. Pro tips. Now I need to see my instructions here. Okay, that's what I thought. We're gonna put this on the front. I like to put it off to the side a little bit because 
Lord knows I'm a little bit off kilter, so everything else must be off kilter too. And then we've got our Blackberry Bliss, blah, 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 blah. Blackberry Bliss layer here. I'm gonna put on sort of center it over my banner. And then dimensionals for my little sentiment that I just stamped. I love these dies, these dies. Um, so if you haven't seen them in the spring catalog, that So Sentimental stamp set comes with the Stitched So Sweetly dies. And so that's what all of these are. There's also the rectangles that have like the scallop and the stitches. They're just adorable. All right, I'm gonna tie a bow. Got lots of ribbon. Oh, Kara's not watching, Never mind. My friend Kara and I have an ongoing thing about how I make my ribbon, my bows so tiny and she makes her bows huge. And I think her bows are huge and gaudy and she thinks that my bows are small and silly. But I like my small silly bows. So I'm gonna leave my bow kind of small and silly. Trim the ends off here. And this again, if you're having trouble with this, you can use the bow maker for it. Um, I know Sue's been loving her bow maker. Um, and those will be available soon. I can put you on a wait list if you want one. And then a couple glue dots and we've got a lovely bow on there. All right, first card done in the bag. Next card. Alrighty, this one, we've got this lovely poppy parade which luckily I managed to scrounge up in a Poppy Parade and then promptly had to reorder more because I use a lot of Poppy Parade, I've discovered. This one, we're gonna use this I Can't Thank You Enough. And we're gonna stamp that onto, again, our Whisper White. Now again, the So Sentimental stamps, they are meant to coordinate with these sentiments, so they kind of follow the shapes, but you can use any sentiment stamp set you have. Um, that's kind of, yeah. One of the little things I liked about this class was if you don't have the stamp set, it's not the end of the world. I mean, it's never the end of the world if you don't have a stamp set, unless you're me. And then if you don't have every stamp set, then it's the end of the world. Alrighty. I've pre-embossed this layer for you if you got the make and take packet with the layered leaves embossing folder. So it's got that awesome 3D effect to it. I've also included just a piece of Whisper White in there for you. So this is just a four by five and a quarter inch piece of Whisper White. And we're gonna glue that on the inside. It adds just a little bit of weight to the card. So if you find your cards are tipping over when you stand them on a mantle or something, then it really helps to add another layer to the inside, even out the weight front to back. Um, and it also, when it's the darker color like this, it gives you something to write on. All right, mm, let's just glue this on. I am going to add my designer series paper layer and we're gonna glue this onto the card, straight-ish, and then the sentiment with dimensionals. All right. Peel all those. Hi, Sonia. We're all over the place today. This is awesome. We've got Texas and the Netherlands and Montreal. All over BC, of course. It's awesome. Sue's the closest. And I think Marguerite is the furthest away. Fair to say, unless we got somebody that's in the Southern Hemisphere watching. All right, so that's on there with dimensionals and then I've got the frosted, oops, frosted, I just forgot what they're called, frosted droplets, something like that. Sounds right, but I'm just using my scissors to pick up or fling all over the room, whichever I decide to do right now. And there's another card done. Ta-da! All right. Last but not least, oops, video quit. Yes, Holly, everybody is stuck at home. 
I, I don't know what to do about that meta. My video is working. Is anybody else having video issues? I'm just going to keep going. All right. If you got the make and take package and you saw the original instruction, you'll have noticed that I swapped out the designer series paper. And that's because I ran out of what the original instructions had. Oopsies. So this paper works just as well. And again, that's another thing I love about these cards. Oh, good. Um, yeah, the cards. You can use any designer series paper. If you want to, you can change the colors up. You don't have to. It all works. All right, I'm not going to glue all this down yet because I want to um, attach my ribbon still. So what I'm going to do is glue my designer series paper onto my embossed layer. Again, I did the embossing for you. Thank you, thank you. I just love you all that much. This is the scripty embossing folder, so it has that handwriting in the background. Then I'm going to do this a little bit different than probably most people do it because I can never get things lined up properly. So I am going to put down a strip of ribbon first. And what I'm going to do with this is actually attach it with some dimensionals on the back. There we go. And now I'm going to dimensionalize this. Well, and I'm deviating from the original instructions, I'm sure. Kara will forgive me. She wrote these. Alrighty. Oh, a little paper packing. And again, this is probably somewhere where I'm going to use more dimensionals because it's such a big piece, because I'm using some of them to hold on the ribbon. Don't always use that many um, dimensionals. But here I have. All right. Oh, we needed to do our stamping. Yep. All right. Back with the Blackberry Blessing. Yes, your friendship is a blessing sentiment. Right in the middle of that. My poor Blackberry Blessing pad has taken a minute. I think it may need to be replaced soon. All right, my table really isn't steady when I'm stamping, is it? The whole video shakes. Sorry. Okay. Hmm, how do I want to layer this? Um, I'll layer everything. Okay, so I'm going to glue the silver right onto the back of this sentiment layer and I've just left a little bit of a border around just the square part. Oh no, I know what I'm going to do. And then the circle, I'm actually going to slide underneath the ribbon here. And then I'm going to put some dimensionals on here. I'm going to overlap some of the dimensionals just to be safe. Sorry, overlap the dimensionals so that they're on the silver and the whisper white paper. That's what I meant in my head. Okay, sometimes I finish my sentences in my head and realize that you guys can't all read my minds. I mean, I don't really know what's wrong with you if you can't read my mind, but oh well. Alrighty, and then this is going to go, and it's going to go over top of that circle, and that circle is just going to peek through. Ta-da! Oh, and I wanted to put this on the inside. There we go. Okay. Pop that on there. And we've got that. Now, the rest of my ribbon. I could just make a bow and pop it on there, but then what happens is your bow doesn't scrunch up the ribbon and that with these wider ribbons can look a little funny. So what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna slide it under there and then just like I'm tying my shoes, I'm gonna tie a bow and then you'll see it actually scrunches up the ribbon underneath just like you tied the bow in 
that piece that wrapped around. And then you've tricked everybody into thinking that you're so good at this and you can wrap the ribbon around and it, the bow ends up in exactly the right place and all of that, but really you faked it because you need all the help you can get some days. All right, I'm gonna trim the ends here. And then you can, if your bow is moving around a little bit more than what you had planned, you can always do my favorite trick and take that glue dot and tuck it underneath so that that bow stays nailed down exactly where it needs to stay. All right, so there is our last one. And again, this ribbon, you may have gotten the dotted or the polka dot tool or whatever it's called. Um, I'm using the flax because I ran out of that ribbon. So there's all three of our cards from this make and mail and make class. I'm still wrapping my tongue around that. So if you want to participate next month, um, next month we're going to be doing um, three cards using the Someone Special stamp set. So that's the one with the little mice or the little mouse and the little raccoon and all the cute little animals, the little squirrel. Can't forget the little squirrel. Um, and I'll be sending out make and take packets to um, some of my team members and anyone who places an order from now until um, that class goes. So if you want one, you can place an order. Don't forget, we've got a couple days left of celebration as well. So you can get some free stuff as well as those coordinating dies for um, the someone special. I'll show you the stamp set. This is the stamp set. So it's got the squirrel and the raccoon and the mouse, and then you can still get the dies that actually cut those out and the balloon and the flowers and all that stuff. So that's super cute. Um, you can also get that um, mail and make or the make and take for the ma make and make and take packet for the mail and make. I don't know, I might have to change the name of this. Um, if you participate in my retreat. So that is going to be at the end of April. I'm going to be doing it online. You're going to get a whole package. I've got like a dozen cards made already for it. Um, it's going to be featuring a brand new suite that unless you're a demonstrator, you haven't seen yet. Um, or, you know, one of us has sent you a sneak peek. Um, and so you're going to be getting a whole bunch of supplies. It's going to be $35, including shipping. That's going to mail straight to you. There's going to be prizes. There's going to be treats in there. Um, and then I'm going to be doing a Zoom. So obviously you guys are all on Facebook, but if you have people who want to participate that aren't, um, they can participate via Zoom. And yeah, I'll be posting more information about that very, very soon. All right, that's all I've got. This was a super quick one, but thank you for joining me. And I will see you next month, if not before. Happy stamping. Bye.